Hey there everybody, this is I Ran. I'm back with another new little indie game. This one is called A Woven. And I'm starting off in the game options menu here because uh, I started up the game and it doesn't give you any menu or any options or anything. It just kind of drops you straight in and plays the opening cinematic. Uh, and unfortunately, it starts you with mouse and keyboard control. And I want to play with a gamepad and it doesn't seem to detect the gamepad automatically. So I'm going to see, first of all, First of all, if I can get the gamepad set up, uh, I will note that the subtitles are on by default, which I approve of. We've got a few different languages here. It does not loop, okay. Obviously, I'm going to keep that on English because that's the language that I speak. Uh, controls, mouse and keyboard controller. All right, now hopefully, there we go. All right, now my gamepad is being picked up. That is a relief. Uh, for the audio, we've got separate controls. And for the graphics, we seem to have quite a few options. Uh, none of them seem to be accessibility options that I can see, other than motion blur. I will turn that off, because because I don't need no motion blur. Um, all right. That's that. How do I get out of here? I guess I have to... There we go. Uh, and I will continue. Oh, there we go. So now I am in gamepad mode. So I am stuffy. I am this uh, sort of lopsided, much-mended... Stuffed elephant. I am on the lookout for flowers and things. I don't know, it wasn't very clear. Apparently Stuffy's getting into all kinds of trouble all the time uh, because they are uh, very single-minded and, and not paying much attention to their environment. So, off we go. Uh, moving very slowly. I think I think Stuffy's leg does need a bit of a mend. Oh, just your ordinary colorful woolen valley here. Although, I must admit, the knitting work is excellent. Is that gonna let me go past the button there? Oh, there we go. Oh, hello! Look at that. How are you making that noise? Ooh, I'm trying to try out the controls here. I don't know what that means, so I'm not gonna touch it. Hopefully it will be explained to me. It doesn't seem that I can jump. That may just be because Stuffy's leg is broke. I'm not sure. Alright, I guess I'll continue along the path here. Hmm. If I know Stuffy, he won't like going into that cave. I'm not saying he's a coward, but he's not exactly brave. Well, not in darkness anyway. Thanks a lot, narrator. Who gives you the right, huh? Who gives you the right to call Stuffy a coward? Or not exactly call Stuffy a coward. But you you definitely call Stuffy a coward. I do love the visual aesthetic. Everything looks like uh, it's made out of yarn, basically. Okay, so I can't go in there, so I need to go this way. I got it, I understand. Somebody please repair my leg, please. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, you all know I love the pretty. I love the pretty games. This appears to be one of the now, pretty games. what is this metal machine doing here? Looking lifeless and all wrong. It's not yet a part of our story. Oh, stuffy, move along. Narrator, I don't appreciate your sass. Up ahead, an intricate little machine jutted from the ground. But Stuffy, of course, glanced over it, for what also came into view was a pretty little bird, all colorful and blue. Yes, Stuffy, go ahead, frolic, make some sound. That could make him come around. Interesting. How about I just run up to this bird? Oh, okay, here we go. And it does change the uh, tutorial to show the, the gamepad, that's good. So this is what this is. Just making sound. Oh, I broke it. Now Glitch wakes up and sees the world for the first time. Filling him with wonder blazing. For a woolen world stretched out before him. Soft, woolen. And frankly, quite amazing. For as long as he knew he had been blind, but now sees soft hands of wool, caring and kind. Who was this creature looking so terribly lost? Loose limbs and half its ear torn. How did it come to look so worn? Glitch paused and thought, not knowing what to do. Was he a thing that helped? And a kind thing too? For now, maybe. Circumstance had let their paths cross. They should stick together for now, and be less at a loss. 
Now for Glitch, this all was pretty strange. You see, gone was the cold metal, foul smoke and creaky clocks. His vision now filled with soft, knitted hills and neatly quilted rocks. Was he the only metal creature here? Okay, there's a lot of cutscene. Now we're right at the start of the game. Uh, so I'm inclined to be patient a, a bit. But um, I hope it doesn't continue like that because I think I spent more time listening to the narrator than I have uh, than I'm actually playing the game. So is this like Navi? Is it just gonna follow me? For all of the very slow, very long and slow narration, it hasn't actually told me very much about what's going on or what to do. Presumably, I need to lead this thing somewhere, and there's only one place I can go, so... In a world of soft shapes, fiber and stitch, stood a metal machine with a socket perfect for glitch. The machine came to life. It was made for knitting. With the right pattern, Glitch could make any fabric fitting. He could set Stuffy right, and found he would do so with delight. Now, why would that be? Ah! Dude! By this new appearance... I didn't Stuffy consent to that! <laughs> thinking Holy crap! Short, ...to remain the same for all eternity. <laughs> Such an optimist. I'll say. Okay. Now what? I don't... I don't know what you want me to... Should I go back up here? I don't know what the symbol means, little, little metal bug. You want me to... You need to go light up the cave or something? At least I can walk faster now. So confused. What, your little thing went away? Oh, I appreciate the speed increase. Yeah, I... I'm pushing all the buttons. Oh, wait, wait. Left trigger. Goodness gracious, Steve. controls are not very well explained. Your collected animal patterns can give you varying abilities for each part. To your right, you can apply any of the fabrics you have scanned so far. Smoke okay. will tell you when a knitting machine is near. I guess I'll stick with what I got for now. Okay. I should probably mention that this is a pre-release copy and it's possible that some of these things will be improved a little bit, but since it's coming out uh, just a few days after I'm recording this, it seems unlikely that anything major is gonna be changed. Stuffy could not be persuaded to enter the cave, mightily fearing the dark, and helplessly looked at Glitch, hoping he could give a spark. Keep an eye out for Glitch. In Whoa! Darkness, Glitch's light gave the cave a reverent glow. It's beautiful. Drawings done by Stuffy's kind illuminated the walls. Okay, that was pretty cool. Speaking of their safe life here, before the time of woe. What? Where were they now? Another type of machine marred the otherwise colorful view with arms like that of an insect limp and still it seemed to tug at glitch's will now why would it do that he had no clue this machine spoke to glitch in words without sound if they spoke back in the correct rhythm something important could be found okay we can have a little rhythm game can i turn off that light no, that's turning the light on. Okay. Now do this one. I'm good at rhythm games. I'm confused. Oh, I see. I can move these little pins up and down on these rows so that they hit the little dots. I got it. That's actually quite tricky. Some of these colors are very vibrant. Okay, 
I got a blueprint. What is this, like an anteater or something? That's not Why quite an anteater. A containing a stuffy knitting a badger? Be here? <laughs> Was there a connection with all these knitting machines near? Ah, oh, a new shape could have other abilities. That was pretty neat. This new blueprint contained patterns for both strong arms and powerful feet. Now, why Useful, do I suspect I'm going to need this? I'm sure. <laughs> All right, that is enough cutscenes. I think um, we've reached our, our quota on cutscenes. So we can actually uh, stop you with the. Oh my god. The patterns on certain flowers. Okay, guess it's this one. No, it's this one. Aha, uh -huh. now we scan. All right, we got a new color. I do like that. I am seeing a uh, sort of collection possibility in this, and you all know I'm a sucker for that. Okay, so I'm gonna be this one. Oh. Okay, so I guess this is giving- this is telling me a summary of my abilities? Yeah, this one- this one's- this one's bunk. Oh no, wait! I wasn't finished! <laughs> I need to select my colors! Oh, I do like oh my thing. goodness. Oh no. Oh, we've got a rabbit hole here, my friends. No, I've changed my mind. Um, well, let's- let's go all purple. Let's go all purple and let's see how we feel. I don't love it. But I am too lazy to fix it. So I'm gonna go two tone here. And I've decided that, that I'm done. This is what I'm gonna look like now. I have regrets. Wait. Can I not? Okay, hold on. Did I do this wrong? Did it not swap out my whole body? Did it only swap out the, the head? Okay. That does seem to be the case. Oh yeah. That'll do it. <laughs> With my mighty arms, I just pushed that pillow over. Oh look, pumpkins. Hello, pumpkins. Can I scan something here? Can I get like a pumpkin color? Pumpkin texture? No? Night. Make this fall down? Maybe I could go up there. Probably. Yeah, okay. It is always gonna tell me, it seems. Make myself a log bridge. Stuffy was impressed oh by my glitch, goodness. solving all this complicated stuff. Alright, folks. I've been playing this game for 23 and a half minutes. And I think at least 15 of those minutes have been cutscenes. <laughs> We're getting to a point now where I'm no longer thinking, oh, it's just the start of the game, it's normal to have cutscenes, and I'm more thinking, like, um... Is this whole game gonna be like this? Seeing the moon. There's more than one path! Well, I'm gonna go this way, because I saw stuff up this way. And I'm a gamer. I know what that means. There's collectibles up here. So again, I will reiterate, very pretty. Uh, so far, I'm starting to feel like, oh boy, there sure are a lot of cutscenes. There sure is a lot of very, very slow narration. <laughs> I probably shouldn't complain too much, though. I do get the distinct feeling that the intended audience of this game is probably children. It did cost time. That much was true. But Glitch found he enjoyed the tailoring. Don't think I have it with an enthusiasm so anything new. It's a good thing Stuffy enjoys it, too. But I saw something up here. So I'm gonna grab. There's this machine up here. And it should give me a new thing, right? After I solve this little, this little oh, dot puzzle. Shape for stuffy was near. Oh my goodness! I have what? eyes, narrator. Glitch I can see it. Wonder. I can do this Who all by myself now. <laughs> Can't see okay, here we go. The actual game part. We got this. Uh, 
Uh, I do not like that these little buttons to the side, though, are clearly offset from where the uh, little arms are on the device. If you see what I mean? Like, it's... It took me a while to realize that uh, each of those buttons is supposed to represent one of those little arms. Alright, I can be a pig now. I do appreciate that. I am gonna become a pig. I have made that decision. Alright. Alright, we're good. I'm satisfied with my appearance. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling I'm probably gonna be spending more time doing that than anything else? Alright, let's go down that other path. And look, there's Peggy's over there. I want to go talk to them. It's boring over here. It's all the same. Better, better let me go say hi to those pigs eventually. I'm clearly meant to be among the pigs. The controls are so weird, because when you do... You have to hold the right trigger to open up this menu, which is the little fluffy person's menu. And the left trigger to open up this menu. Then you have to use the right stick for this one, and the left stick for this one. So it's like... It gets a little bit confusing sometimes. Oh boy. This is obnoxious. I'm keeping it. Ah, oh, the hills here nice. look quite comfortable. We got flannel. I don't know if it's flannel, but we got. Whoa! Hello? Oh, you got the flannel. It's probably not flannel. It's the plaid or tartan. Stuffy up and down, from. And shook his head with a passion. Could it be because their outfits did not match? Glitch had no idea snakes could care about fashion. Oh, no. Well, me neither. But apparently they do. Oh, no. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh, no. So, I guess uh, I gotta go make myself plaid. Gotta go put on my tartan suit. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no to the- oh no! Uh oh. Whoops, uh oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. This better work. <laughs> My eyes are bleeding. It's too much. That's too much of this pattern. It's much too much. Hey, we match now. It is a good start, but if oh, you God. insist on oh, going no. for a fashionable fit, there is no overdoing it. Oh my goodness. Back to the machine with you. Oh gosh. Yeah, I got it. It also seems I can't skip these cutscenes, by the way, folks, which is uh, one of the biggest video gaming sins you can commit on skippable cutscenes. I thought we all learned our lesson back at like Nintendo 64 or so, but apparently not. Apparently people are still making games with unskippable cutscenes. For shame. There you go. 100% tartan pig. Oh boy. I do not feel comfortable like this. You know, Snake, I don't appreciate you telling me how to dress. I got enough of that and the rest of my life. I don't need this from a snake. You happy? The snake nodded approvingly Ugh. of Stuffy's fancy display. Seemed happy and lifted his tail out of the way. Right, let's go. Yeah, let's. Goodness gracious. They snake thinking it could tell people what to wear. Mountain range, nor looking for other hidden adventures between the trees. Hey, narrator. They should follow the road forward and. What was that? Oh my what? <laughs> Wait, what? He tightened his wings. Memories of darkness stunned him with a vision of long metal limbs. What? For a moment, his head reeled with confusion. There was no spider there. Stuffy waited for him, unaware. It must have been an illusion. What? What the Oh my gosh! I'm sitting here thinking, okay, this is clearly a game intended for children, so I shouldn't judge it too harshly on certain things, but, um, that wasn't- that wasn't for kids! That was terrifying! Give me- give me a pattern? Pink. Yeah, that's right. Give me another one? Heck yes. Black sheep. Why not? Blacky. Mm. Although one of them looked unique. 
Okay, it's a little late, narrator. We already did that part. Hello, piggies. Are you going to damage me? Hello. May I kiss you? Apparently, I can get a pattern from you. Tawny. Oh, we got a thing. Let's bring on the world's most awkward minigame. Let's do it. Oh man, I really hate the way that pig looks right now. <laughs> okay. Alright. I can breathe again. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Ira, are you sure I'm putting a lot of effort into this thing that you claim not to care about that much? To that I say, hey. Listen. Listen. Just... Listen. Are you listening? Keep doing that. Stop asking questions. Oh, <gasps> there's ducks! Hello, ducks! Quack, quack! Quack, quack to you and your family. This valley seems without peril. Narrator, I wish you would stop harping on about this. I'm aware. This is a very safe place and everyone here is really happy. I don't know why you gotta keep going on about it. Oh, hi. It's one of these things. Go on there, Glitch. He remembered the song that sang for so long, singing to the life of any, there had been so many, and now all was gone. The song was broken, no words were spoken. Who had broken the song? What had been many? Oh, that's cryptic as all heck. Oh, oh, we got some, we got some, what appears to be some beavers. Hello, beavers. I greet you. I greet you, beavers. I would like to look like you. Probably not. Like it? Mm. <laughs> Very colorful. Apparently, I need to do this. Yeah. Thump right back at you. Thump thump to you as well. Where are you going? Why are you leaving? I thought I just befriended you. Now my feelings are hurt. Excuse me, may I pass? Thanks a lot, appreciate it. Can I go up here? Apparently not. Alright, who's squeaking? Oh! <gasps> Speaking of nuts. Ew! Yeah, I get it. As the squirrels fled stuffy, I got it though. Rhyme came to no, I got it. Birds of a feather Do I have to wait for the narrator together? to finish? <laughs> I'll let you figure this one out. I was doing that. Okay. I need to get on a rock. Cause they were all on rocks. Do I have to look like a squirrel? I'm a nut. I'm a nut now. I've decided to be a nut. Hey, yo, squirrels, I'm a nut. Check me out. Check out what a nut I am. Hey? Hey? No? Is that not Alfred? Alright. How were they going to get across? I uh, will figure that something out, narrator. I wouldn't worry about it. To the other side. Do you think? At least Could if it? the pumpkin did not overturn. He couldn't help but worry. He was Stuffy's guy. <laughs> and with Stuffy being well <laughs> stuffy, there was some concern. I don't appreciate your lack of confidence. Honestly. Alright, I haven't finished all the little side quests in this area. But if I don't move along, I'm not gonna see if that spider was real or not. And, uh... I only surprise, got five more minutes. Lich saw their sudden joyride had stuffy smiling. I look ridiculous. Didn't even get to make friends with the squirrels. Oh man, I can't even go back. Let that be a lesson to you folks. Did I see? Oh, never mind. Oh, shut up. Let that be a lesson to you folks. Make sure you do all your completion of this stuff before you step on the pumpkin. Just pro strats right here. Oh no. Yeah, get get its butt pattern. I would appreciate having its butt pattern. Good, good, good. <laughs> 
Excellent. Interesting. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, I think I'm not allowed to walk. <laughs> there we go. Kimberly. Kimberly the pattern. Alright, I'm gonna have to hold perfectly still for a little outro here, otherwise the narrator will continually interrupt me. Uh, I'm gonna call this one finished. I've been playing Woven for one hour. Uh, so this has been my first look at the game. And my impression is, first of all, um, not really a game that most adult gamers are probably gonna get much out of. It's very cute, it's very soft, as you can see. Um, it's extremely easy, the game does literally tell you what to do at every point. So, my impression is that this is a game for little kids. If you have young children who you would like to introduce to the mag wonderful magical world of gaming, this might be a good one to do it with, because this is extremely kid-friendly so far, uh, aside from the giant terrifying spider. Uh, I do not know if the game remains as soft and fluffy. I have seen some I've images seen from the game. Flowers. Shut up, please. Thank you, I am talking. Um, I have seen some screenshots that suggest you do end up in a much more metal kind of place eventually. So probably not for super, super young kids, because it's a little bit spoopy, it seems. But overall, um, very pretty children's game. Probably not much to, to engage the adult gamers. Um, so that's it, that's Woven. Uh, now if this game was not your cup of tea, and you are not interested in this at all, please do not worry, my friends, because you know I'm gonna be back very soon with another new indie game. And you never know, that one might just be your new favorite game of all time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Hey there, friends. I'm feeling all soft and fluffy and cuddly after playing after playing Woven. Uh, it's a very soft and cuddly game. It's very wholesome. If you like wholesome games and you want to find some more that you might not have heard of, don't forget to check out the rest of my channel, as I've got lots of, of similar games, videos, and indie reviews and things like that on there. And, uh... You can also watch me play a very wholesome game called Kinseed on Wednesdays. I'm, I'm streaming that live on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash games. So that's another option if you want to come and hang out there. And I also put the archives on YouTube so you can watch one of the previous ones if you want to see what that's like before you join us. Um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I love you. Don't worry, guys. I love you more.